Is Cowfish Universal Orlando's best restaurant? Let's see. I'm Jay. And I'm And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we're back at Universal Orlando Resort because we've realized that as long as you're doing this channel, we actually don't have many dining reviews on specific restaurants here, right? Yeah, and it's definitely a goal of ours this year to build up our catalog of Universal sit-down dining restaurants. Yes, and they have a lot of good ones. I do want to say that one of the reasons we tend to lean more towards Disney is because I feel like Disney has better fine dining generally at the parks as well as at kind of their dining district, Disney Springs. Uh, in Universal City Walk, a lot of it is kind of like chains. chains. Yeah, good chains, but uh, they have the Hard Rock Cafe, they have the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Very nice, very well themed. They're places that we enjoy, but they're places you can get somewhere else. But they do have a few exclusive spots here, such as the Tootsum Chocolate Emporium. We've had varying experiences there. They actually have another one right now in the City Walk over at Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, but We've actually, I, th I think, honestly, at City Walk, my favorite restaurant here, and which has consistently had the best quality, has been Cowfish, right? Yes, and that was actually the first place we ever went to. Yeah. When we first went to Universal with our friends, like the day we landed, yeah. went to City Walk and just like stumbled into Cowfish. That was our first vacation as a couple. Yeah. And we have a special connection with it. Now, I, I, <laughs> I, feel like we're so, I feel like we say that about so many places. <laughs> people are being like, you have a connection to everything. But it's, it, that's a true story. Yeah. I don't think we're being biased too. Um, so Cowfish, as it sounds, they specialize in both uh, cow-based burgers and sushi, and they have burgushi. So it's like a little combination of burgers and sushi. So they have something that please pretty much the whole family. Sushi lovers, burger lovers, people please your type of food, but it's a bit elevated. We really enjoy it here. Um, with Toothsome, we had a really bad experience last time we were there. So we are gonna try to put them on this kind of list as is it the best? Because our first time there, we did think that they were the best restaurant. We had a couple of really amazing good. experiences there, and then we had a bunch of really bad experiences yeah. there. So that's Very for another day. That's not we'll talk about two some at another time. Yeah, but I'm excited to eat some burgers, eat some sushi, try the burgushi, and be able to explore the menu a bit more because we usually have lunch there. This is more towards dinner time. So uh, are you ready, Sam? You hungry? All right, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our nostalgic dinner over at Cowfish here at Universal Orlando Resort. All right, so to get to Cowfish, you're gonna head past the moving walkways and you're going to see Red Oven Pizza Baker on your left. It's actually almost connected to that. It's right next to Vivo Italian Kitchen as well. They were okay when we went there, but I do think I like Cowfish. Yeah, I like Cowfish a bit more. You can see left of the check-in desk, they actually have a mascot here, which is the cowfish. I'm not sure if this is a mythical creature or if this actually exists. The check-in desk as well is themed kind of like the back of a cow. It even has a cow's tail on it. All right, so we just got the text that our table is ready. So we have to go up this elevator to the second floor. You can actually also take the escalator on the outside to the second floor. Well, they got it before us. So the cuisine is Western and Asian fusion. I think Sam brought this up when we were looking at this cow with a shark fin. We decided just to take the steps because there are steps next to the elevator. So we checked into our left. Look at this burger sushi. So cool. Awesome. Thanks. We got a nice little corner seat. A little indoor outdoor action over here. All right. So we're seated. There is one strike we have to give them, Sam. The, uh, the chairs were a bit dirty when we walked in, right? Yeah, there was like a dirty napkin on my, on my seat and it was really dirty. All the seats were pretty all right, so the menus are looking a bit worn. They have a ton of appetizers. Definitely looking at that crab ragoon dip. And they do have a vegetarian crinkle cut fried pickle that we're looking at. Ooh, they also have sesame chicken bites. We have some salads, some classic sushi, fusion specialty rolls. They have the sushi bar selections. And of course, their famous burgushi. I kind of want to try the all-American double cheese burgushi. But I wanted to get some standard sushi too. These little mixed bento boxes look interesting. And if we flip the menu, you can see the burgers that they have. I don't see any like sushi type burgers. It just looks like standard burgers to me, but I hear the burgers are good. The dessert I'm looking at the most is definitely the hazelnut mousse. And of course you can't forget the hand spun milkshakes. They have a nutty cow and Nutella milkshake sounds amazing. 
cookies and cream, the grasshopper, marshmallow crisp. And at the end, they have their spiked shakes, specialty cocktails, and specialty mocktails. Maybe I'll get myself a mocktail. All right, so the appetizers are here. I got, of course, the crab ragoon dip. I'm a huge fan of the crab ragoons from Chinese restaurants. And Sam, you, of course, got the fried pickles. I mean, we're both going to be eating the fried pickles. So I guess we kind of got the fried pickles. And it, has, it comes with two different dipping sauces, right? So I have a ranch and a horseradish aioli. And I want to say I already ate a bunch of these, and there are still so many. Like, this is a huge serving of fried pickles. Props to them for that. So you're gonna start with the ranch. They're really good. They're super crispy. So they're called crinkle cut fried pickles. Or crinkle cut. They're super crispy. They're not, they have no sog at all. They're exactly the perfect texture. Little like vinegary taste for the pickles. Good ranch too. You're addicting. Let me try the horseradish. Well, I'm a huge fan of horseradish. It's a good nasal type of kick with the horseradish sauce. Eight. Eight, that's eight this sounds good. What's your favorite sauce? So many. This is good. I like, I love ranch and this, this is a, like a creamy, decent ranch. But this is just, I feel like different. So like props them for giving you something different with the fried pickles. It has a little kick, nice and creamy. I'm like, huge portion. All right, so here is the crab ragoon dip. They even put a little sauce on these and they're wonton chips. What's in the actual dip set? It's creamy crab rangoon with parmesan panko crust wonton chips and the wonton chips have sweet chili sauce and chives on top. All right, let's try to dip it. Let's see if there's a little cheese. Ooh, look at that. Look how creamy that is. Look how steamy it is. Let's try it. My biggest issue with crab ragoons is usually the filling. What's great about this is you use as much filling as you want. <laughs> and it tastes just like as you would imagine a crab ragoon. The drizzle is like the dip you would get from a Chinese restaurant. It's perfect. I want to get these from a Chinese restaurant. I'm gonna give this a nine. Just because this is one of my favorite things to get from Chinese restaurants. Literally so good. All right, so for our entrees, we actually just got two burger sushi rolls and one classic sushi roll. This one will be for me. It's the Jen's Fresh Fine. This one is Doug's filet roll. It actually has filet mignon right on top of it. It even comes with a little filet mignon, or like little dipper sauce, or an au jus. And Sam, you got the one of the classic burgushi rolls, the all-American bacon double cheese baker roll. Now this one has a seasoned premium black Angus beef, yellow cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, and apple with smoked bacon wrapped in soy paper and potato strings, then flash fried, topped with dill, pickle, red onion, and Roma tomatoes served over our house-made cowfish sauce. They gave us a little extra sauce right there on the left. Are you excited? It looks really good. And like, I don't eat fish, so I usually can't partake in sushi, so I like that I can kind of like pretend I'm eating sushi, even though it's- I'm so excited because I can never eat sushi with you, and now we get to eat sushi together. Yeah, you can eat that with your hand. Actually, technically in Japan, a lot of people eat sushi with their hands in Japan. Little fact there. It's kind of giving me like twisted tater vibes on the outside. It's fried in potato strings. That's pretty cool. Sam finally likes sushi. It just has to not have fish in it. I like how finely chopped the toppings are, and I like how they're not just in the inside, they're also on the top too. It's almost like elevated cheeseburger or spring rolls. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Rice. You know, it has like rice, but I really, I love the potato outside. It's so good. And the mac sauce is really good. Let's try it with a little bit of that sauce. I think it's very creative, very unique. Nothing like that, something that I've ever had before. I would give it an eight. Hey, it's, it's a high number. I really want to try that. Oh man, look at that. That is a, that is a burger as a sushi. All right, so this one is just for me. It's Jen's Fresh Find. It has premium tuna, cucumber, and green onion inside topped with premium salmon and avocado served with a side of spicy pokey. That's this little side right over here, Sam. I'm really excited to try this out. I'm gonna try, obviously, just the sushi first. No, no little sides, no wasabi, no nothing. Just a little fresh find. Delicious with the texture. It's got crunchiness, it's got freshness. I want to try this spicy pokey that's on the side. Am I supposed to put this on top, I wonder? You, you're, not, you're not well acquainted with, with sushi, Sam, so I'm not sure you you know the... I, I know nothing. It does taste really fresh. I want to taste it in a little bit of the soy sauce and with a little bit more 
avocado on it, so let's dip it in the soy sauce now. I'm gonna put some wasabi on here as well. It's fresh, good sushi. Is it as good as shiki cider? I don't think so, but it's good. I'm gonna give it a seven. It tastes fresh, it tastes delicious. It's hard to say like good and bad sushi. This is definitely good sushi, but I think they're more so known for those fusion rolls. And the next one I'm gonna have, I think is like the perfect like example of that. All right, so this is Doug's filet roll. It's avocado, cani cream cheese inside, topped with thin slices of seared filet mignon, spicy mayo, scallion, masago, and served with a side of pounded ginger sauce. So I guess this is the pounded ginger sauce. It has that imitation crab inside. It doesn't actually have any fish. All right, so let's see. You can see the filet mignon right there on top. We get a little bit of that ginger sauce. What is the orange on top? Masago, I think. That's so good. It's like a California roll with cream cheese topped with filet mignon. Oh my gosh, it's so good. A little drizzle of like spicy sauce on top. That is so good. I'm gonna give that a nine. Um, the filet mignon is like tender, falls apart in your mouth. Like, this nice ginger adds just a little bit of that ginger kick. Makes it feel fresh and delicious. Just a unique combination of flavors. That was really good. All right, so we were just at Typhoon Lagoon yesterday. That video will probably come out before this one. And we ate an entire bucket filled with ice cream. So while their shakes are very popular, there's just no way we were going to be having any milk. So we decided to go with a milk-based product, hazelnut mousse. And this is layers of Nutella mousse, caramel cookie pieces, whipped cream, and candied hazelnuts. So I guess on the top here, it's the candied hazelnuts. There's the cookie pieces at the bottom with the caramel. And it's a hazelnut mousse. It's thick. I feel thick pieces. I think that's a Cool Whip, a Cool Whip on top. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. It's so, so light though. Like, it doesn't feel like, m it feels more like the texture of like Cool Whip than a mousse. Very light and airy. Yes, like it's so, so light, but it's, it tastes like Ferrero Rocher's. Like it's. Oh, that's an amazing flavor. That tastes it, very high end. It, it's, it's good. It's just the texture wasn't what I was expecting. I feel like mousse usually is a little thicker. That's really good. There's like, there's cake or something. There's a layer of- It's cookies. It's cookies. cookies, yeah. It's very good, a lot of texture, crunch, then like this like moist cookie cake or whatever it is in that layer, caramel. It is sweet though, like when you get like the caramel part, it's a little on the sweeter side. It's very good though. I give this an eight. Ooh. Eight yeah, you're straight eight Sam today. I feel very aristocratic right now with my Ferrero Rocher mousse in a little mug. All right, all right. Let's take a look at the center here. I'm gonna get a bunch of those cookies. It is sweet though. Mm. You're right. It's like Ferrero Rocher turning to a mousse. But the texture is so light. It's delicious. I'm gonna go nine with this. Very light bitterness. And then it's very smooth and creamy from the hazelnut. I love the candy hazelnuts on top. The soft texture from the cookies that have absorbed all the mousse flavor. This is, we've been on a roll with desserts lately, Sam. Maybe I just like sugar. Maybe I'm just addicted to sugar and I just love any of the sugar. Probably. All right, that was uh, pretty solid, I would say. All right, so that does it for our dinner at Cowfish. It was really cool walking outside in the second level of Cowfish and seeing the uh, coconut club, the cursed coconut club a little smoky goodness out there. We're definitely gonna head back in there again. If you wanna check out the Cursed Coconut Club or our tour of it, we did it on opening day. We'll link that video in the description below. Sam, what did you think of our experience at the Cowfish? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was food was good. Very filling though. That's probably because, you know, I ate so many fried pickles before <laughs> my food came. They're but good. I think it's like a great restaurant that's like a compromise. Yeah. Like if you have someone who wants sushi and someone who doesn't like sushi. And you, know, you, you she had sushi with me once. She wasn't a fan of it. But what did you think of burger sushi with the fish taken out? It was good. Right? I, I probably would get the same thing next time I come. Um, I, will, I will say I don't think that our experience was without any flaws or flawless. Uh, I, the table next to us, for some reason, wasn't cleaned up for like the majority okay. of the time okay. we ate it. Wasn't, a bunch of no, tables, no, actually. Yeah, no, it wasn't just the table. It was like the whole row of tables that was adjacent to us. Like yeah. when we came in, they were dirty, whatever. Yeah, our both of our seats were dirty. The table was but a little dirty. But they were dirty. like dirty for like forty-five minutes. Yeah, you know what I mean? like yeah. The just, food was very good though. And Service it did, was great. It did kind of feel dirty. Like the menus felt dirty. Like it didn't. It yeah. didn't feel like the cleanliest 
Yeah. Uh, I will say, I think as far as fine dining goes, I didn't get a fine dining sentiment from there, but I did feel upscale. It was a good sit down restaurant. Out of the restaurants that I've eaten here, that is still my favorite. Um, I don't get a lot from City Walk, unfortunately, because it's mostly chains. I do think, and I'm not, sure I'm not trying to trash Universal's, because I will say, I think the majority of the best Universal dining is designated at its resorts. Uh, yes. We loved Agreed. Bombadella's Agreed. over at uh, the Portofino, also, and recently we needed Sapphire Falls. Yes. What is that restaurant called? Um, oh, now that I'm trying to think of it, it's bothering me. Amatisa Cookhouse. Cookhouse. We figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was, that was really good. So I think if you're looking for fine dining, maybe take a little boat ride over to the resorts. Uh, they might have something you're looking for. If you're looking for upscale sit-down dining, I'm recommending Cowfish for now. We will try to get back here and do a video on Toothsome to see our thoughts there, because we used to love Toothsome. I felt like it was the best restaurant here, but our last experience off camera, it had fallen from grace. So we'll definitely have to go back to try that. I think it was more than one bad experience. Like yeah. we kept giving them a shot because we did like them so much at one point. But yeah. We'll figure that out. But today was a good day. What was your favorite thing you ate actually? Um, everything was really good, honestly. honestly but I really liked how food. creative my dish was. Yeah. And it being flash fried in those potato sticks. Like yeah. it was had a lot of texture. I liked how the condiments were like finely chopped. They were nice and fresh and they were like on top. Like yeah. it was just, a, it was done well. Was I, I would well. agree. Your, yours is my favorite as well. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes us to the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps if people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notifications. That way you're notified every time when videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. We haven't dined as well at Bob Marley's, right? Hey. Is, that, is that, I guess it has a mobile pickup, so I guess it is a restaurant. I always assumed it was just kind of like a no, reggae it's bar. No, definitely sit down. Oh, wow. Yeah, Thank so we, we have to eat there, too. We did also enjoy our time at Big Fire previously, uh, but I don't think it was my my favorite. It was it good. It didn't blow us away, but it was it was a solid experience. Yeah, we got to go back to Big Fire. We're gonna try to do a whole series on Universal City Walk, so stay tuned. And the people you just see scroll up in front of you, those are our members. You can become a member as well for as low as a dollar ninety nine a month, and get your name in the end credits. We have differing tiers with differing perks. If you want to check those out, check out the join button. And if you want to check out more of our videos on Universal. Click one of these. Hope everyone has a very nice day or night whenever you may be watching this video.